Ah, good morning. Tell you what, the greatest gift is this small pedal board right now. Carrying the big one would be a nightmare, especially when you've got a Gibson 345 on your back and a change of clothes. I don't know if you can see that on the shoulder. Oh, got all to the station. I missed the train I wanted to get, but uh, c'est la vie, as the kids say. Today, so. That's what I want to hear. But yeah. I believe we are the only ones. Just 
Yeah, well, you can get easily carried away with gain, can't Filippo, you? Filippo, can you uh, go on the drums? Yeah, I've got some. Yeah. Get some levels. Don't sit around, fool. Yeah, get on yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. kit. <laughs> <laughs> You're working at a bar. Yeah. yeah. Talking a bit. Then you can link in. Yeah. 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 Yeah
playing on there. But um, but yeah, so I've been kind of prepping songs. Um, all this here, all this here is the songs I'm going to be doing. So I've just kind of charted them all out and whatnot. That was uh, my day yesterday, and then today uh, I've got a couple of Skype lessons uh, in a bit, and. Um, it's a Sunday, so I'm not going back to my main teaching house. I'm just going to do it at mine. Um, so not all my proper equipment's here, but they're cool people. They know me, they like me, and I need to change some strings. But uh, yeah, regarding the session stuff, I don't know how much about a film, but uh, I will do my best to kind of uh, bring you on my journey. Hello mate, how you doing? Yeah, not bad, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, I'll be honest, I've been listening to a lot of John Mayer um, recently. Gay for so, Mayer? Like finger picking stuff is stuff that I want to, like, I, I can't do it. Other than that, I think we were still just doing like bar chords, to be honest. Well, I'll tell you what then, we can combine the two then. If you're completely new to it, kind of taking your, you know, bar chord things. So say we had, um, Take that John Mayer chord progression, right? From um, I've got it now. But we won't do the song, but we'll take those chords. So you're getting used to using the fingers. So yeah, if you get that minor chord shape for C sharp minor. So we'll just stay here actually for a moment. You want to get used to attacking the strings all at the same time. So that's kind of cool, like piano style. You know, where things been, as opposed to being played all at the same time. You've got that kind of thing happening. All right, man, I'll see you soon. All right, have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. Consciously thinking about the, the tempo, the beat, and also of course the notes you're playing on, and then and the, and the, and the touch on the guitar as well. You know, now this is a musical idea, isn't it? Now even you know what, just use one finger to do a scale because then you're looking instead of. Relying on our fingers as shapes, you know. So I'm not going in order. Now I am. See you later, buddy. Take care.
you're gonna need on a session. So let's come and get my stuff for my week of studio work and um, now Hampstead actually is gonna be used as the only amp and it's gonna be the first uh, recording uh, I've done with the new Hampstead actually, so looking forward to it. But uh, I'm taking my big pedal board. I'm gonna throw uh, this in my bag as well because this is actually really handy for recording sessions. Um, it's, it's helped me out a lot in the past. In. Problem, I've got a wobbly knob. A wobbly volume knob that is. You disgusting people thinking other things. Yeah, it's quite bad. So, I'm gonna show you a little trick as well. Because what, like at the moment, when you turn it, it's fine. Obviously this is wobbly. But I wear mine out a lot. And believe it or not, there's um, a, a little hack I've done to help that. But let me just take this off. So, as you can see, I've got a bit of paper literally um, in the, the bolt of the knob. Now I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to tighten this up. Well, I can just do it by hand. It's pretty much nearly done. You know, it's still a bit wobbly. I'll probably uh, I'll get uh, the need nose pliers in a minute, just go over it. But if I take that paper out, it's probably going to need redoing now, actually. But um, if I take that paper out, um, the grip is kind of gone in uh, the knob here. I mean, this is a 20, nearly a 21-year-old guitar, and uh, I've had it since 1999, so I can't even hold the thing. Like, ah! But yeah, I mean, this happened, I think, back in 2000, I remember being an ACM. And uh, yeah, the old paper trick, and it works every time. And I've got a bit of paper under this. I've got, let me so you can see my face. I've got a bit of paper underneath the knob of my Telecaster as well, volume knob on that. So uh, it does help, but um, yeah, it's amazing. There you go, by my fingers, and this is now nice and uh, tight again. And I put the knob back on. Let me just see if this is going to be all right now. Thankfully, it's all right. I thought, uh, oh, so I'm turning it a bit more just to check. Yeah, see, look now. Yeah, it's just going round and round. I thought, I thought it'd be the case. I want that to be happening now, and not when I'm in the studio. So what I'm going to do, I'll take this paper off, you can see how long that's been on there for, <laughs> a long time, probably probably a, a good year I would have thought. Oh man, if you could see what I've just balanced you on, so I, can, I haven't got a camera stand here. So, what I'm going to do, get a strip of paper, rip that off like that amount, and then make sure, uh, let's tighten this up just a little bit more. Okay. I always kind of make sure that's like back where zero would be. And then in the little slot here, just put that on. Hopefully you can let me show you. So yeah, I'll put in the little slot there. I want to turn it and I'm just going to wrap it round. So I've wrapped it round and then I've just kind of, the excess I've just kind of squashed on top. And now hopefully when I put this on, it'll be all right. Success! There you go. Turn it, boom. 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 One nil to me against Guitar Life.
Jackie Strings. Yeah, Sorry, just gonna get the direct input yep. in. Sorry. Oh, it's just in here. Right. Great. Cool. And then, and then we just need an XLR. That's all right. Lovely. Yeah, buddy. Oh, okay, so you do one, two, three, four, then I start playing, right. Because it is on the end, that's why I did that. Sorry, right, right, I'm with you.
Det var I. Don't know why there's that bit at the end where I just like get lost where it is. You know what I'm talking about? It's like I'm like, where is it? Um <laughs> Yeah, why not? Just so you got Nah, let's get going. Nah, let's, I'll, I'll do another one of this and then we'll do electric if you want. Just then you've got a load of options then, haven't you? Yeah, it's not bad actually. It's not bad. I mean, they did, you probably 
probably were here, but they didn't used to have any treatment. They put a bit of treatment in. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it makes a bit of difference. It's a bit like, you know, but it's a bit more controlled now. Yeah. It's nice. But the speakers are great, the items, yeah. guys a few days with me <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that um, so I didn't get any more kind of footage in the studio um, I just felt a bit uncomfortable um, kind of filming when I was working in there basically um, but there'll be plenty more opportunities of seeing me in the studio and stuff like that let me know if you enjoyed these type of vlog videos um, I want to get a better camera for doing it but uh, getting feedback from you if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, will be very much appreciated. So, uh, and of course, like the video, share it about, uh, help me get the word out there. Anyway, hope you're well, guys, and I will see you uh, next week. Mike Bradley signing out.